Good morning, guys. Hey, everyone, and welcome back to the next RV vlog. We're checking out of Loveland Bay today, which is really, really, really sad because this is my favorite campsite yeah. I've ever been in, ever in my life, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah, the beachfront camping during a heat wave couldn't have worked out better for us here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Good kid. She learned kissing. <gasps> <laughs> but with that being said, leaving, we're going to have to hook up the trailer to the truck. This was also our hardest back in with our 30 foot travel trailer. It's a single lane road, so we didn't have much maneuvering space to turn in. And it's a steep hill coming down as well, where our stabilizers almost scraped on the way in. So we're going to get out of here once we get that all solved. And then we have a bit of an RV travel day coming up. Yeah, I'm hoping getting out of the site is going to be a lot easier than getting in. It really should be. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, when I was backing Luke in, like the stabilizers were like that close to bottoming out. So I'm hoping they don't scrape on the way up the hill. <laughs> yeah. And also today on the road, we got to take care of some business because we have a problem we've never had in our four years. Ooh. Anyway, so we had a problem we never had in four years of RVing. We never had this problem at all in the motorhome. We've got a bit of a black tank situation on the go. So yeah. a bit of a dirty topic, but we'll jump into that when we're ready to tackle it hands on. But no, not hands on. No, sort of. Nope. Mm -mm. Like honestly, this hill doesn't even look that steep on camera, but like the way that the hitch like bends when we're hooking and unhooking is really, really sketchy looking. And then like you just saw it almost bottomed out when we were heading up the hill. It's like super crazy. Anyways, we're successfully out. Let's head a bit further south on the island towards Parksville. Checked out. Did a sandy dump stop over at Elf Falls where we stayed previously, so we're traveling light. We are now at the Courtney Walmart right now where we're gonna A, run the generator for a little bit, charge our batteries up so we're topped up a bit more before we head to our next provincial park with no hookups. B, Chloe's gonna nap here and I'm gonna stay in the RV with her while the generator is running anyway. And Alicia's gonna go into Walmart, grab some groceries, but also more importantly, grab the materials to clean our black tank out later, so. Hopefully this plan works and we'll fill you in once we get to the campground here. Also, really quick, I wanted to mention parking at Walmart. Normally with our Class C, we could fit on a pull-through stall pretty good. With the trailer here, obviously we got to pull in along the parking stalls. So pro tip, if you don't know it already, is trailer drivers. I always try and have the truck just a little bit pulled into the parking stall ahead of me. And I also kind of swerve in and swerve, so you're slightly pointing out. And then I have a full stall that my nose is blocking so no one can park in. So then I can swoop through all the way, even if someone wants to try and like park in the stall right ahead of you. Gives you a little bit more wiggle room that way. All right, we're just pulling into our next campsite here at Rath Trevor Beach Provincial Park. We've heard a lot of really good things about this place and super excited to see what it's really like here. It's supposed to be one of the more like busier oceanside type of campgrounds. It's also a huge camp. I think it also has a huge day use area. I looked up like things to do in Parksville and this was number one on the list. So I'm sure it's gonna be pretty popular and pretty cool. All right, here we are, site 101. And that's a driver's side back in, Luke. Yeah, nice, eh? All right, I'll call you. So we've checked into our campground here now, site 101 if you're curious for yourself. And it looks like we're right across the road and then a little forest line to the ocean. So maybe if Chloe stays awake long enough, we can go check that out here tonight. We've got Smokies going on the grill here because <laughs> it's 7.10. This day we didn't feel like it was gonna go by quick, but just all the little things like Walmart and the generator hours, the water probably took 20 minutes to half an hour to fill because the pressure was so low and things just take time RVing. So we're gonna eat this up here Talk about our black tank problem here that you've been hopefully waiting to hear. Uh, you know, hopefully. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure you're all on the edge of your seats just wondering, wondering. what our black tank issue is. <laughs> yeah, so we'll try and diagnose that a bit here and should be a good time here though. Looks like we're here for five nights and see how we do. And just like that, we're back in the truck. Yeah, oof. Um, 
I don't know, I guess Luke's not too excited about going back to the truck <laughs> and heading out, but I'm very excited because... Oh, a bunny rabbit. Oh, nice. He's always big. <laughs> On our way to the park today, when we were driving, I was looking at things to do in Parksville, and that's how I found out that Rats Trevor is number one, but... High up on the list was the sea, the market, the sea market, the market by the sea, something like that. It's downtown in Parksville and it's every Tuesday night they have a night market from 6 to 9 and I guess there's a whole bunch of really cool stuff going on and they have lots of vendors and stuff. It's basically, it sounds like a, a nighttime farmer's market with some entertainment, with some entertainment. Wow, what happened to the lighting? Okay, this is very strange. Anyways, it's only Tuesday nights, and of course it's Tuesday when we check in today, so I guess Luke very kindly let us go to yeah. the night market. <laughs> you only got one day a week, you gotta take advantage of it, I guess, so here we go. It's true, it's now 7.30, Chloe's nap time, or Chloe's bedtime is gonna be like 8, 8.30 probably, maybe closer to 9. She's been uh -huh. in this really weird sleep schedule lately, but yeah, we're gonna see how it goes, maybe just go for a little bit walk around, see what it's like. Should be pretty fun. I forgot. The whole point of doing this clip was to talk to you guys about our black tank situation. Well, at Walmart, I had to go and buy bleach because our black tank has sewer flies in it. Yuck, isn't that horrible? We've never had that in four years of RVing with the motorhome and everything. I have actually never even heard of it. Apparently, I Googled it. I figured out how to get rid of them and like what to do because you know, like every so often when we flush the toilet, a fly will come up or multiple flies will come up and it's obviously disgusting. Yeah, they're living in the poopies and you don't want them like landing and growing in that environment and then flying around your house and touching things, so yeah, yuck. So anyways, apparently sewer flies love to hang out in black tanks and they lay a lot of eggs, I guess. I don't even know. I, I did all the research and I was thoroughly disgusted doing it. I guess they can lay anywhere between two and a hundred eggs in your black tank, each of them, and they'll hatch and it'll become worse and worse. So in my research, I found out, like somebody said that you can put Raid in there and literally I thought that was the way to go because I just want them dead. But the more I thought about it, we're living in the RV, we're gonna need to be using the toilet and I don't want all those like fumes and stuff from the Raid in our toilet and then our bathroom and everything. Oh my goodness, the light. Anyways, when I did more research, I think that bleach is gonna be the best way to go. Obviously not too high of a concentration to like wreck anything in our black tank or any of the valves or anything, but we're gonna fill it up with bleach, fill it up with water, and then take it across the ferry so it can like slosh around, kill everything in there, kill all the eggs, kill all the adult flies. And hopefully, by the time we get to our next campsite, which is going to be full hookups, we'll be able to flush it there, get everything out, deep clean it, and have no more sewer flies because yuck. I forgot to grab Chloe's shoes on the way out. Oh, how are you going to walk? <laughs> and of course, she loves to walk, obviously, so this is going to be a pain trying to hold her, but. We're gonna have a good time, right? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So in the market, Alicia got a bracelet. I'm sure she'll share soon enough, but more importantly, Got some kind of berry pecan Danish I picked up for myself there. And then Alicia picked out an apple strudel locally made for herself as a little snack this evening. Oh. Gotta treat yourself when you come to the market, right, Chloe? Hey, that's mine. <laughs> Dad. You what, you that? want daddy's instead? Good good thinking, yeah. Yeah. Wanna bite this one? You gotta eat it, not poke it. Bite. Ow. <laughs> what do you think, Chloe? Oh. Good? Is it good? It is good. All right, well this is the little bracelet I got that Luke was telling you about. It's made of sunstone and it's from Salt and Moon Jewelry, handmade on Vancouver Island. 
I thought it was a pretty cute little souvenir and has a little feather gem thingy on there. So yeah, I got that. Uh, it's getting really late though, so we're gonna call it for this video. Get home, get Chloe to bed. Yeah, it was a bit of like an RV travel day. You got to hear about our black tank situation. Hopefully that wasn't too like dirty of a topic. Alicia was originally like, maybe we just don't talk about the black tank flies and it's too gross to tell them that. And it's a part of our RVing and we've never had it happen in the motorhome. So it seemed relevant and I mean, it wasn't that bad, right? It was no. interesting. It's not that bad, I guess. It just, nobody likes talking about their black tank. That's weird. It's black tank. You've got, it's a good code name. <laughs> But yeah, a little bit of everything today there for you, friends. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time when we get out and enjoy our campground and maybe more of Parksville. Super excited about that. So we'll see you then. Take care.